Well, good morning, everyone. Breakfast is so important in our family. We eat this meal together as a family, just like the other two meals of the day. So we have some sourdough coffee cake along with some fried eggs and some veggies. And then it is the cleanup time. And I don't regularly use our dishwasher, but I do definitely appreciate having one. So just getting that loaded. French press coffee is the only way we drink coffee in our house right now. And so we have some heavy cream and a dash of cinnamon in there just to add a little oomph to my coffee. Then punching down my sourdough because I have prepared some dough for some sourdough bread that I'm going to be making for you later. Being a stay-at-home mom and loving the change of the season, it's time to add some more simple touches of fall. And I have a very simple, kind of classic white um, decor going on in my home. And so just holding the little one while I decorate. And then, of course, you gotta pull out the iron to get those linens straight and clean for hanging up. But I am so excited as this is in collaboration with Hillary at Old World Home. She is such a beautiful mom, um, homemaker, and just an all around wonderful person that I've enjoyed getting to know here on YouTube and have become a good friend. So definitely check out her video, her day in the life as well. Well, good morning, everybody. It's already 1030. It has been a full morning with breakfast, breakfast cleanup, and then some tidying of the kitchen as I've been working on filming my fall home decor tour. And that actually already went up last Friday. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. It'll be in the description box for you. But I just thought I'd show you little things I had to do for that, like brewing another hot co cup of coffee. And of course it won't go to waste. I will definitely be drinking that. Um, and then this is a collab, as I mentioned, with Hillary at Old World Home. She is a dear sweet friend and a mother of four. And so we are bringing you along with our day. We're gonna be doing some homemaking, some motherhood, my typical cleaning, cooking, um, just showing you what a day in the life with two little ones for me is like. And so, um, yeah, I just thought you would enjoy seeing what this beautiful, crisp September day is like for me. So I will be filming this area as well. Um, kind of the behind the scenes like I'll put some of her toys away I want it to still be lived in like our books there I just I like to be pretty minimal with what I have out anyways so this is typically what it looks like even with a toddler around right now so she has some toys in her room but it does get worse like don't get me wrong that toy bin will get emptied so uh, and then having a swing over there, you know, it's just part of life and a guitar in the corner, like some of that stuff I'll move, but some of the other stuff you just have to leave out because it is a lived in home and that is how life is. A little bit of rain makes Maggie really want to come on inside, so we'll let her back into the back porch. My bedroom decor is going to be changing as well for the change in the season. I am just going to be taking off this quilt, putting on just a plain white one I've had for a while, and just giving it kind of a fresh look for the fall. And I love, again, adding those simple touches of a different season to a home. It just makes it so fresh and inviting and almost seems like a new space that you can have and enjoy. The 
simple things in a home really make me happy, like being able to add a thrifted throw blanket to the end of my bed, add some um, new decor on the walls that actually I've had for a while, but just repurposed it in a different place in my home. I'm looking for an art piece for our room that is fall themed, so maybe on my next thrifting adventure I can find something, but I really like being able to change up a space. Well, it is nap time for the girls. We had lunch, we had some leftover potato soup, and now I am prepping supper. It's good time to do that during nap time. So we're having stuffed peppers. I gotta go pick the peppers from outside. They're like teeny little things, but we're gonna make it work with our stuffed peppers tonight. And then we're gonna have the sourdough bread that I'm gonna make. Um, for supper as well. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest. Many of you probably think I've made sourdough bread before. I have not. I'm an epic for sourdough um, failure. <laughs> no, just kidding. I do everything else with sourdough. I add it to my pancakes, make, um, oh goodness, I've made cookies with them. I've made banana bread. I've made coffee cake. I made tortillas, but I just haven't actually made the bread. So we're gonna do sourdough bread. It is, you saw me punch it down this morning. It is still rising. I wanted that little bit more tart flavor to it, a little more sour flavor, so I let it rise longer than they suggested. Anyways, I'm going to go get the peppers, and I'm just literally going to have everything prepped and put in the fridge for just putting it in the oven when it's pre-supper time. recipe was one I kind of just did off the cuff so I didn't follow a recipe completely but it is a pound of hamburger just some fresh garden tomatoes fresh onions fresh garlic some herbs from the garden then like half a cup of uncooked quinoa that I cooked up and then I just threw it in my little um, peppers that I had from my garden put some mozzarella cheese on the top and that was oh I added some ketchup and mustard I just a little more liquid you could use some marinara sauce in there if you wanted or to make it more Mexican style add salsa add um, jalapenos whatever you want to do So in our bedroom, this is kind of what I've done. I switched out our um, double wedding quilt that I had on here before, and I think I might have to get rid of it because it is tearing, um, and it's been pretty worn and stained, but I know a lot of you loved that beautiful blue and pink, and it was gorgeous too. But um, we've had this white comforter, I think it's from Amazon for $20 several years ago. I really want to find something different, but it's what we have right now. Anyways, I got this um, blanket quite a while ago. It's a Threshold brand, and so it's really comfy and cozy. And then I found this material at a thrift store for 90 cents, and it's like cut on the ends and everything, but I really love this blue and brown. Uh, many of you know I like blues in my home, but I don't have a lot of color. I'm very neutral with my home decor for the most part. So I just liked how that kind of pulled in some fall on the end there. Then my blue pillows there. Um, if you watched like, oh, a month ago at a local store, she had clearance pillows for 50% off. So those are from her store and they actually are the Harmony House brand, but I was gonna use them in our fixer upper, but I'm gonna use them in here for now. And I just need something, like a little pillow to go there, or something to pull in that um, brown maybe i don't know something to go there not a huge word person in my decor anymore but it was very fallish and it is such a true statement and then just some 
wheat stems there with a picture of three of us. I need to get some more with our youngest in there. And then on my chest of drawers here, um, just a candlestick. This is from the Dollar Tree. And then our little girl there. Um, just a little candle. Some fall type things there. I uh, might change that out. I might add some pumpkins. I don't know. Nothing too much in this room. Here's what's going on in the bedroom for now. And we'll see if I can find something to go right there. So since I'm in the bedroom um, decorating, I thought I would actually take a look in our closet before um, I need to feed, feed Nadia. I got about 20 minutes here. So um, if you don't know, this is a shared closet for my husband and I, just this little space here, and then actually our newborn now. So um, yeah, we put everything in here plus what is in here, and half of one drawer is our newborn's little clothes. So I'm gonna kinda look through and see what I wanna pare down for the fall. We still have some warm days coming, like actually some 90 degree days here this weekend. But I have been going through and getting rid of some things I know I will not be wearing or haven't worn. So I'm gonna list these on Facebook Marketplace because they're in good condition. And to tell you the truth, I've been trying to list um, three to four items every week on Facebook Marketplace and it's been so fun to see what comes of that. So it's kind of a nice little side gig too if you're interested in making money. And then I've just been trying to keep more nursing friendly dresses. Like this one's super cute and it's just from Walmart. This one is not nursing friendly but it's great for fall with leggings. This LuLuRoe one was, I've had this for years too. So I'll probably um, not get rid of it but I'll just tuck it away for springtime. This was a nice one to have because I can nurse easily on that. Okay, this one I could not part from for the longest time, but I think I'm going to because I've had it for 10 years. It's a little bit short. It's really pretty, but um, I haven't worn it except to weddings several years ago. So I'm going to part with that. And then some skirts. I love wearing skirts with leggings. This one's a little bit big, but when I put leggings under it, it's great. All right, so a few things I'm going to give to my sister-in-law, a shirt and a pair of jeans. And then I pulled out some of my fall sweaters. I kind of pared these down last year when I put stuff away. So I'm trying to keep it pretty minimal, especially with just staying home and I seem to tend to grab the same thing. So just a couple sweaters, um, another pair of leggings, one black long sleeve and one cream and white long sleeve. Got all those um, items of clothing with pictures taken. So now I just need to list them on Facebook. So here's my loaf. Uh, it did not rise very well. Um, looks a little interesting, so it'll be some trial and error on this artesian loaf of bread, but I think it'll still taste pretty good. Well, here's our stuff peppers all cooked and then a salad and my very dense sourdough bread but that's okay it's gonna be something i'll have to keep working on and i used whole wheat flour so it looks delicious the evenings always seem to fly by but we love enjoying a stroll as a family and then after the girls are down for bed i am 
going to get a little work done on my computer as well as my husband. But I hope you enjoyed coming along on my day and seeing what we get to do on a somewhat regular basis as a homemaker and mother. Well, have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you.